Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Giselle. So in today's video, we're gonna be trying out the new e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer as well as their Halo Setting Powder. So if this is a video that you're interested in and you wanna see how these two products work together, stay tuned. Okay, so just a little information about this concealer. Um, this dropped December um, of last year, so it's still fairly new. Um, it is a 16 hour wear camo concealer. It says creamy formula glides on to help conceal dark circles, blemishes, 18 shades, and it's only $6. So yeah. You can, of course, buy it anywhere. I got this from Elf's website because they had a deal going on. Um, so I got this and a couple other things. So I have actually three shades. And hopefully one of these shades will work. Um, first, I have Tan Latte. And this is described to be let me go back to the website so, tan latte is described to be tan with new warm to neutral undertones let's go through and swatch tan latte okay that is tan latte um very neutral I would say it's more neutral than warm, so there's that one. Next we have medium golden, and that is described to be medium golden is medium tan with golden beige undertones. So this one is considered to be lighter than tan latte. So we can tell that this one is much lighter than Tan Latte. And this is the medium tan with beige, with golden beige undertones. Wow, oh my bejeebus. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so here is Tan Latte, this is medium dang what did i say it was medium golden whoo man so these are not you know next to each other i did try to stay in like the warm ish undertones but oh my gosh i think the tan latte will work i really wanted the medium golden to work as like a bright under eye highlight so i mean we're gonna see and then next, just to test the waters with some um, cream contouring, concealing, I got a darker shade, and this is in the shade Deep Chestnut. And this is described, this is a deep, rich, golden undertones. So let's see, ooh. Okay, so there is, there is deep rich. Can you see that? Yeah. So there is deep rich. I'm sorry. There's deep chestnut. So, okay. I, I, we're going to see if I can get away with some contouring with this. I didn't want it to be too dark because, you know, I'd rather it be too light than too dark. So, I mean, this is deep golden I don't know I don't know I'm not a I'm not an expert on the undertones and things like that but I've seen more things that have been a little bit more golden but we're just gonna put it on the face and we're gonna try it out so for my base I already have the um, elf foundation the flawless the matte flawless the flawless foundation in cinnamon I've done a review on this foundation so you can see the review I'll have it linked up here or down below 
Um, so we're gonna go in with tan latte and conceal like I normally do. Oh, this seems like it is hella light. I like my concealers to be not my tone, but maybe like a shade or two under. And this, this is just, oh my gosh, this is, this is light. This is light. So just for comparison, the my Fenty Beauty concealer. I'm gonna put it under the tan latte so you can see the color difference. And my Fenty Beauty, that is pretty much my shade, but a step or two lighter. So you guys can really tell that the e.l.f. concealer, even though it says warm to neutral, I, I would say it's pulling more neutral because the, um, what is this? The Fenty Beauty Concealer is like a true golden. So, yeah. Okay, so I have let it dry down for a few moments. So, let's go through. Actually, since I know this is super light, I'm gonna go through with my foundation brush. What I use to blend my foundation in and just go through and kind of pat it in. Ooh, this reminds me of like, 2016 Giselle when she wanted that extreme under eye highlight like girl that's not necessary that blended very nicely so let's go in with a dot and I mean a dot of this medium golden light that's it and I really like the doe foot applicator it's really really nice it's nice and large, so I feel like I'm getting some good areas. And it picks up a lot of product, so I really like that. I really like the, the wideness of the applicator. But I will say this blends so well that if you do happen to get a shade or two that's, you know, too light for you, I mean, it seems like it's blending in. Oh, do I want to do this? I think I am. So I haven't concealed my brows because I wanted to use the concealer that way too. Actually, before we do that, I don't want to want to give it a chance to crease. So let's go ahead and set it. And we're going to be using the e.l.f. Halo Setting Powder. I have this in the shade. What shade is this in? Medium. <laughs> So, and it says, want to make your skin look like it's wearing a beauty filter. The silky, lightweight texture of this setting powder drapes the skin with a dreamy, blurring, soft focus finish. So, we're going to see. I don't know what's so halo about it. I don't know. Oh, I really like this. I really like this little sifter that they have. You turn it so it'll keep all the product in the bottom and it's not spilling out everywhere. You guys already know that I am a ride or die for the black opal setting powder in like medium deep or medium or something like that. Amazing, one of the best drugstore setting powders. So we're gonna see what this one's all about and let's go ahead and get it ready. And this side, I'm just gonna press it in. I'm not gonna bake, I'm just pressing that powder in. I only took a little bit. Okay, and then for this side, I'm gonna take a little bit more and do some baking just to see, you know, what's the difference, you know? Let's see how these powders perform. Okay, so you can definitely tell I have a little bit more on here than over here. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I set my eyelid because I'm not gonna be doing any eyeshadow. 
Let's go ahead and bake that eyelid. Why not? Okay. So while that's doing its thing in baking, now we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye or my eyebrows and conceal them. And I'm going to go ahead and use tan um, latte, even though everything in my body tells me not to. And let's see how we can do these eyebrows. Now, I will say this concealer is super surprising. Like, I don't know if it's because of the consistency, how like watery it is, but it just blends into the skin. Like, this concealer, I mean this eyebrow, you can tell that it's concealed. And then this one is a little bit more messy. You can tell that this one's a little bit more neater but it doesn't seem like it's giving me halo eyebrow and it just blended right into the skin. I'm super impressed because I really thought this color was gonna be like a no go, but it's really surprising me. Taking that deep chestnut and I'm really just gonna put dots where I would normally conceal or contour. was super easy to blend I'm very impressed even on top of the powder even on top of the powder this looks crazy good let's go ahead and set that bronzer I mean set that concealer with my Hoola um, caramel bronzer by benefit and we're gonna use this brush and i'm just gonna like lightly just go through and just dust that and set it because i really think my contour my regular contour would be just a little bit too um dark and i want the contour the cream color from the concealer to kind of be the star. So I think this is kind of the same hue. Girl, mm. have you been in the sun tanning outside? No, haven't been, cause it's been cloudy in Houston. I've still been out in my backyard, six feet away from people, cause you know, both social distancing. But girl, who? Who can't tell me that I just didn't come from a beach vacation on somebody's on somebody's island? Like who? Who? Let's test some things. I'm just I just want to try out everything multiple different ways. So I got the setting powder again, and let's carve out my cheekbones. Let's see. We're gonna let that sit there for a second you know carve out these cheeks see what they do be on high cheek alert and let's go through and I'm gonna finish my face real quick y'all where are we going <laughs> I know we're on a shelter in place stay at home order but your girl like what what Dang, I got a little mascara under my eye. I don't even care. Like, your girl still looks good with the mascara under her eye. You can't tell me nothing. Face beat. Like, this cost me $30. Everything on my face is like $25, $30.
what this looks so 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 good Ooh, i almost forgot let's take a flashback test really quick oh my god this stuff bet not flop on me oh i have so many lights A tiniest, tiniest bit of flashback. Just the tiniest. And I want to say the side that I baked on, this side has more flashback than the other side. The other side looks good. The side that I baked with has flashback. So you don't want to use this um, powder. You don't want to bake with this powder. This is strictly for setting so a light dusting if you do use a sponge just pat it in because the side that i didn't bake looks flawless with the concealer it's very hydrating so it just sits on my face and it just looks i can't stop staring at myself in the viewfinder in the mirror like my skin looks great um, so really surprised with the way that the concealer melted in my skin because you know your girl was at first kind of nervous and now all of the swatches have kind of dried down I think it's a great foundation for a great foundation a great concealer for six dollars definitely give it a try if you have tried it let me know in the comments down below if it worked for you or if it didn't work just want to know your thoughts about it if you like this video if you like me demoing other products demoing foundation concealers new products like that even old products you just want to see on my skin tone let me know down below give me any suggestions or any items that you want me to try and i will try them out for you guys and until my next video bye